Hello folks. After a friend asked me to make an explanation, a video explanation of how the Bix burners for steam engines work, I decided to uh, make it in form of a review. Today I'll be reviewing the two types of Bix burners that I have and as you can see I have a longer one and a shorter one and these two virtually fit into all of my uh, steam engines and this includes uh, stationary and traction engines. I'll start with the general principles. The Bix burner is basically a burner area and that area has the ceramic disperser that has some fine holes and it functions as to spread the gas evenly so that you have a fine uh, blue burn that does not blacken engines. You have the air inlet and that is the the valve inside that uh, sprays the gas, the jet, the air inlet which you adjust to, to get a, a good burn. You have the copper tube which can be also bent into any position that suits your engine and this is exactly the same thing only on a larger scale that's a longer copper tube and a longer burner what I would like to point out here is that I decided to get two different types of uh, ends here is the end that fits onto the normal gas canisters all the normal commercial gas canisters that you buy they come in different shapes and sizes this is the longer one you can get them shorter and what this does this valve is that it screws into the canister like that with a valve at the top and that's what you use to control your gas flow. We'll come back to that soon. This, however, is different. We'll move this away. This comes with its own tank. And the tanks can be bought in different sizes depending on your needs. This is about one of the smallest they have, if I remember rightly. And this fits exactly into the tank outlet and the tank is pre-installed with its own valve um, if you're getting this system you should remember that you have to buy one of these adapters the retail dealers of the burners also sell these adapters and these adapters are for refilling you screw them like I just did onto the commercial uh, gas jets canisters and then you fill it up like that good that was filled and that's how it works to light up you have your flame and it's not more difficult than that and you can adjust your flame that's too much but like that that's a fine blue flame almost invisible to my camera but it's the warmest when it's blue and it does not blacken steam engines so I have some engines that virtually still look like new because I haven't used the normal S-bit or meth burners same way this works like I said you can bend it into virtually any shape you want get your fire and you have a longer burn it comes with a set of instructions for assembly when you buy it and it's actually a very easy setup and I recommend it to any steamer I hope you enjoyed the video Goodbye.